call to order. This is the 17th regular meeting of the 2009-2010 <coughs> Common Council. As is customary, our city clerk, Sue Richards, will read the quote of the evening. Thank you, Mayor. Each choice we make causes a ripple effect in our lives. When things happen to us, it is the reaction we choose that can create the difference between the sorrows of our past and the joy in our future. Thank you, Sue. Roll call, please. Born? Here. Balk? Here. Bowers? Here. Decker? Here. Gisha? Excused. Hannah? Excused. Heidemann? Excused. Toth? Here. Kittleson? Here. Clyunas? Excused. Montemayor? Here. Rinfleisch? Here. Zurich? Here. Vanderweel? Excused. Vu? Here. And Wangaman? Here. 11 present. We have a quorum. Uh, Alderman Balk will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance this evening. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Corey. Looking for approval of the minutes of the prior Common Council meeting. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I make a motion to approve the minutes from the uh, last meeting. We have a motion and a second under discussion. No discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Mayor's appointments, Attorney McLean. Steve. Council, pursuant to the requirements of Section 730 of the Wisconsin Statutes, are hereby submit for your approval a list of nominations for election officials, election inspectors for all elections of 2010 through 2011. The aforementioned section of the law stipulates the manner in which election officials shall be chosen. I tender my appointment as follows to retain as much seniority and experience as is possible while complying with the state law. I respectfully submitted by Brian and Mayor. That lies over. Mayor. If I could. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, I noticed when I was going through this that under Ward 8, it caught my eye because it's in my district, that's still listed as West, Wesley United Methodist Church at 823 Union, and that's been St. Andrews Lutheran for a couple of years, so just probably a, ty just a typo. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Um, that lies over. If I may, uh, or no, this is uh, yeah. These are this still lies over. Um, Anna Shane and Don Silvis are both part of the People to People group, uh, which is in charge of the Essling and Exchange program, and they show they've shown an interest to be on the international committee. So it's uh, probably a good move. Confirmation of mayor's appointments? <clears throat> there isn't any. None. Well, there are none. Typo. Public forum? Uh, none. No public forum this evening. Mayor's announcements? We have none this evening. Um, we have a hearing. Pursuant to a notice published by the city clerk, there will be a hearing this evening regarding modifications to the $1,800,000 Variable Rate Demand Industrial Development Revenue Bonds for Sheboygan Paint Company. Is there anybody that wishes to be heard at the hearing? Anybody that wishes to be heard? For a third time, Alderman Bowers? <coughs> Could you, someone just explain uh, what this is? I, I know it's a, some type of bond, but uh, are we backing this bond or is this something that... Uh, 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 they get a lower rate? Steve? Uh, I can't tell you all the specifics, Alderman Bowers, but the, this is an existing industrial development revenue bond for Sporg and Paint, and they're, uh, they're making some changes as far as the banks uh, and the letter of credit. I believe there are representatives from Roundies here that, uh, excuse me, that's a different one. Uh, there may be We, we do have a here. gentleman from the bond company here. You can come up, sir. As far as obligation of the city, no, it, 
An industrial so, revenue bond is not a, uh, an obligation of the city of Sheboygan. Here we have a motion and a second to open up the floor. <clears throat> Sir, can I have your name, please? Michael Streg. S <clears throat> Michael Streg, S-T-R-E-G-E. S-T-R-E-G-E, -E, and you're with? Bank First National. Okay, go ahead. Uh, what's happening is uh, the bank with the letter of credit backing the bonds, we are replacing the bank that was backing the bonds, and we are replacing the letter of credit that is in place. The bank that was backing was downgraded, and the cost to the company increased. We're replacing the letter of credit out there, wrapping it with a federal home loan bank letter, and reducing the cost to the company. Does that any, answer your question, Alderman Bowers? Thank you. Thank you, sir. I got a yes, a motion to close. We have a motion to close the hearing. Thank you, Mayor. I, I move to uh, close the hearing. Second. Motion and a second to close the hearing. All ayes. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing is now closed. Consent agenda. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, I make a motion to accept and file all ROs, pass all resolutions and ordinances, accept and adopt all RCs. I have a motion and a second under discussion. No discussion. Roll call, please. <clears throat> Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vu? Aye. And Wangaman? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carries. Communications and petitions 17, 24, and 25 to be referred. Reports of officers 2. 17-26 by the city clerk submitting a communication from Alderman Bauk regarding the change in the flag code that now allows active duty military and veterans in civilian clothing to render a military salute instead of placing their hand over their heart during the national anthem and recitation of the Pledge of Allegiance. Alderman Bauk. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I would move that the RO be accepted and placed on file. Have a motion and a second under discussion. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I just wanted to point this out uh, to our, our uh, folks here in the hall, but also out in TV land. It's a change to the U.S. Code uh, and uh, that permitted members, uh, veterans uh, of all sorts, to uh, to salute the flag when normally you would have in uniform uh, when you were in the military. It opened that up to veterans. There's something very uh, very uh, special about being able to salute the flag instead of just putting your hand over your heart. Uh, and and uh, so Congress passed an amendment to Section 9 of Title IV of the U.S. Code to allow for that. But because big bureaucratic governments can never keep track of themselves, they forgot that the flag is mentioned in two other sections of the U.S. Code. So Senator James Inhofe of Oklahoma put through an amendment in the Defense Reauthorization Act of 2009, which uh, permitted it to be done when you, uh, when you recite the Pledge of Allegiance and also during the National Anthem. So now when the, if you're a U.S. veteran, when the flag passes you, when the flag is raised or lowered, when you say the Pledge of Allegiance or when you say the National Anthem, if you choose to, you may render the hand salute that you rendered uh, when, you were, uh, when you were wearing uniform in the military. And for the mayor, I found uh, two different references to Marines that say that it's okay for Marines to do that too. So I, I uh, welcome you to that group as well, Mr. Mayor. And, and I thank you, Alderman Bauk. You know, I, I was still working off of old school when I was taught you never uh, salute uncovered and you never remain covered indoors. Leatherneck.com. You can't so, do better than that. So I'll have to uh, check with uh, my former superiors and see what, uh, what we can do about that. Thank, thank you, you, Mr. Mayor. Okay, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, 17, 27 through 36 to be referred except for 1733, which we are going to hold for 1754. Resolutions introduced three. 1737 by Alderman Gisha, authorizing execu execution of the first supplemental indenture of trust and First Amendment to loan agreement relating to variable rate Demand Industrial Development Revenue Bond Series 2000, Vortex Liquid Color Incorporated Sheboygan Paint Company Project. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and a second under discussion. No discussion. Roll call, please. <clears throat> Bauk? Aye. 
Bowers. Aye. Decker. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Surik. Aye. Vu. Aye. Wangaman. Aye. And Boren. Aye. 11 ayes. <clears throat> Motion carries. 17-38 by Alderpersons Koth and Gisha authorizing retaining outside legal counsel to represent the city in the matter of USAA Casualty Insurance Company et al. against the city and Aletta G. Holloway et al. against the city and authorizing payment for said services. Alderperson Koth. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move to suspend the rules. Second. I have a motion on suspension of the rules. Any opposition? Rules are suspended. <laughs> Alder, Alderperson Koth. Okay, uh, City Attorney McLean, I'll give this to you. Uh, yes, this is a uh, personal injury action uh, going back about three years. Uh, Officer uh, Williams was involved in an auto accident with the uh, Holloway uh, vehicle. Uh, there's, this went through risk management a while back. The council authorized settling with USAA casualty on their subrogation claim for damage to the vehicle. Um, a check was prepared to pay that, and we never got a release signed by USAA and the Holloway family. So the check was never uh, uh, presented and executed. Uh, subsequently, USAA has now filed an action for the property damage to the vehicle, uh, basically in the same amount as uh, we had agreed to pay previously. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we received a notice of claim and claim, well, we'd received a notice of claim quite some time ago, and that preserved their right to file a claim, but uh, a couple of months ago, we received a claim from Cannon and Dunphy for the personal injury aspect of the case. Uh, and I don't know if the council each got uh, a copy of the documents there, but uh, Cannon and Dunphy had put together about a five inch thick packet of materials dealing with all their uh, medical bills and everything like that. Uh, so uh, they got two pending actions uh, stemming from the same incident and uh, we're requesting to get outside counsel on that. Uh, it's covered under the SIDMIC insurance policy uh, and we've used uh, Jim Conway of Olson Clote, Gunderson and Conway uh, on a number of these cases very successfully. Thank you, Steve. We have a, uh, a motion to put the resolution upon this passage. Julie. All the person got. Okay. Thank you, Mary Ryan. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Alderman Bowers. Thank you, Mary. Uh, would that include uh, uh, attorney costs with the insurance policy we have, or are we on the hook for the for the? Attorney? We're self-insured, I believe, for the first hundred thousand dollars on the right. SIDMIC policy now. Although this goes back three years, it's either seventy-five or hundred thousand dollars that we're self-insured, meaning. Uh, whether it's damage claims or uh, legal fees, those uh, add up towards the $75,000 retention. We're, city pays up to 75. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Alderman Bowers. Any further discussion? No further discussion. Roll call, please. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vu? Wangaman, Aye. Boren, Aye. and Balk. Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carries 1739 through 41 to be referred. Report of Committee 5, 1742 to be referred. Report of Committee 6, 1743 was due to be referred, however, Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'd like to move, could I? Could we go with 1745 as well? Can we take both those documents together? Uh, 43 and 45, yes we can. 
Thank you. Uh, because we've taken care of that, the business already, there's no need to uh, refer them, uh, either one of these documents to the Committee of the Whole at the present time. So I would make a motion to file. Second. Motion to file and a second. <clears throat> Under discussion? No discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Report of committees eight, seven rather, report of committee seven, 1744 to be referred. 1745 has been filed. Ordinances introduced 10, 1746 through 1748 to be referred. Matters laid over 11, 16-54, resolution number 122-09-10 by other persons, Gishaborn, Clayunas, Montemayor, and Heidemann, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2009 budget, establishing appropriation for filing system and building inspection department. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage. Under discussion? Roll call, please. Decker? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. And Bowers? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carries. 17, or 1650, rather. It's uh, down here, I believe, is 1656. That's it a typo. It should be 50. It should yeah. be 1650. General Ordinance Number 29-09-10 by Alder Persons Hannah Rinfleisch, Bowers, Surik, and Wangaman, repealing and recreating Section 50-496 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code, so as to require comprehensive annual reports and delete certain obsolete provisions. Alderman Rinfleisch. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I uh, move that the General Ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Have a motion and a second. Under discussion. No discussion. Roll call, please. Koth. Kittleson, Aye. Montemayor, Rinfleisch, Surik, Vu, Aye. Wangaman, Aye. Boren, Aye. Bauk, Aye. Bowers, Aye. Decker, Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters authorized by law 17 49 will be referred to Public Protection and Safety and Public Works. 1750 will be referred to Public Works. 1751 will be referred to Public Works. 1752, a resolution by Alder Persons, Gisha, Clayunas, Boren, Montemayor, and Heidemann, authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter in an agreement with Diversified Benefit Services to administer the Flexible Benefit Plan for the period 1-1-2010 through 12-31-2010. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I ask for suspension of the rules on this one. We have a motion and a second on suspending the rules. Is there any opposition or discussion on suspending the rules? If there is none, motion carries. And then I would make a motion to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage. Under discussion? If I may just clarify for uh, everybody out there in TV land uh, that this is a setting up our uh, new benefit services plan for the upcoming uh, year of our insurance package. We're going with diversified benefit services for this coming year. No discussion? Roll call, please. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Falk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. And Koth? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carries. 17-53, a resolution by all the persons. Gisha, Clayunas, Boren, Montemayor, and Heidemann authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into an agreement with Diversified Benefit Services to administer the Health Reimbursement Arrangement, or HRA, for the period 1-1-2010 through 12-31-2010. Thank, Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Also needs suspension on this one. Second. Motion the second on suspending the rules. Is anybody opposed? Motion carries. Then I would make a motion to uh, put the resolution upon its passage. Motion a second, putting the resolution upon its passage. Um, what this is, is the HRA that we're setting up so individuals can uh, contribute money to their HRA. Uh, we have tentatively planned that everybody is buying into the 
uh, portion of the deductible for our upcoming insurance package. So that's what is establishing this. No discussion? Roll call, please. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangerman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Koff? Aye. And Kittleson? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carries. 17-54, a resolution by Alder Mengisha approving the terms and conditions of the ground lease between the Redevelopment Authority and Harbor Point Miniature Golf, LLC. Alderman Boren? Thank you, Mayor, Mayor Ryan. Uh, also need suspension on this one. Second. Motion to second on suspending the rules. Any opposition or discussion? <coughs> motion carries. Uh, I, I'll make a motion that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion to second putting the resolution upon its passage. Under discussion? Under discussion, Mayor Ryan. Uh, I'm just wondering whether uh, there's been an opportunity for this uh, this company that wants to put the miniature golf uh, LLC down uh, down at the uh, uh, at the lakefront whether they've had an opportunity to purchase this land I mean this is one of these 85 year leases again and uh, I'm just wondering where the city is with possibly offering this this concern the uh, the ability of purchase right um, the redevelopment authority is presently working up some formulas for pricing properties uh, so we will be able to sell the dirt down on uh, South Pier and also on the riverfront. And uh, the, the entities involved here will be, uh, if they so desire to purchase the property in the future, they will have the opportunity to do so. Um, but right now, in order to get the, get the ball rolling, because we're not, uh, we, are not, we don't have the proper numbers on selling the property yet, we're going to sign the lease, and then they can always opt out the lease and buy the property. So it's something for the uh, future that we're looking to do. We're not very good landlords, as we know. Alderman Bowers. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Even though they're leasing this property, they will be responsible for the uh, taxes? Correct. Yes, Isn't they pay the property way? taxes just as if uh, they owned it. As if they owned it. Correct. Thank you. Paulette, would you like to speak? We have Paulette Enders, our Director of Development. I just wanted to clarify also that as we as we as staff have been moving through discussions about South Pier property, we do bring up the fact that the Redevelopment Authority is considering the sale. They actually did make a motion at one of their meetings to do that. And so the Moeller family was offered that option. But at the present time, I think they were even told by the Redevelopment Authority, if you're looking to purchase, you could you know, make us an offer. But at this time, they're looking at a ground lease. Um, but as the mayor has said, that could change in the future. But they were offered for that option. Thanks, Paulette. Any further discussion? None. Roll call, please. Um, excuse me, Mayor. <clears throat> Alderman Bourne, could I have you make a motion to accept and file the RO that went oh, with that? Oh, we have that? an RO with that. With that one that we pulled? Accept and file. Uh, the RO, that would be number 1733? Yep. Second. Motion was second on filing the RO also. Any further discussion? There is none. Roll call, please. Rinfleisch? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wankerman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. And Montemayor? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carries 17-55, a resolution by Alderman Gisha expressing intent to exercise the police powers in levying a special assessment for the 2009 cost of operating and maintaining the off-street parking facilities within the parking assessment district number one. <clears throat> Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and a second. Under discussion? No discussion? You can take all four if you wanted. Okay, we have, uh, we have here uh, 1755, 56, 57 and 58, which are all regarding the different parking assessment districts. We have uh, uh, District 1, 2, 4, and 5. I'll, make a motion I'll, include, I'll include those to take all of those together. Second. Motion and a second. I'm putting them all upon their passage. Any discussion on that? There is none. Roll call. Oh, we have some discussion. Alderman Vu. I 
just don't understand what the packet assessment for this area, so I just need uh, someone to explain it to those to me. Parking assessment district, Steve, would you like to? Um, I don't know that I can tell you off the top of my head without uh, spending some time looking at the legal descriptions here on the blue, but uh, basically there are downtown areas that have been established, uh, one by the riverfront, uh, one on South Pier, uh, one downtown, uh, one that uh, contains most of the uh, former Livesey properties, and the parking assessment district is a mechanism for the city to uh, operate and maintain parking in that area, uh, plow the snow, uh, do the maintenance, and then annually charge those costs back to the benefited property owners that are within that district to benefit from that park. So annually, the council has to adopt uh, this, uh, this resolution uh, expressing its intent to levy the special assessment to cover the cost of operating the parking facility. OK, thank you. Yeah, basically, it's just a mechanism to build out the, the property owners, business owners for the, for the parking that they, that they receive. So. Any further discussion? If there is none, roll call, please. Sirk? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Kath? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. And Rinfleisch? Aye. 11 eyes. Motion carries 1759, an RC by the Marina and Harbor Committee recommending filing various documents. Marina and Harbor, who would like it? Alderman Sirk. Alderman Bulk. Oh. Move the RC be accepted and adopted, Your Honor. <laughs> Motion in a second. Under discussion? No discussion. Roll call, please. We can do an all eyes. Oh, we can do all eyes. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries, 17-60 will be referred to Public Works. Other matters authorized by law, Attorney McLean. 1761 is a petition from various neighbors stating that they're okay with the proposed handicapped parking stall will be placed on front of 2122 South 11th Street. That will go to PP&S. 1762 is communication from American Family Insurance Group on behalf of their insured Roger and Sandra Ruppel regarding alleged damages to their 1994 GMC Sierra while at the Sheboygan Recycling Center when mulch machines were turned on. That will go to risk management. 1763 is a claim from Jeffrey Bemis for alleged damages to his vehicle when a city bucket truck passed too close to his parked car and scraped and dented the side of his vehicle. That will go to risk management. 1764 is a communication from Vang Zhang requesting a waiver from the sex offender residency restrictions. That will go to Alderman Hanna and Public Protection and Safety. 1765 is a communication from Terry Blevins requesting a waiver from the sex offender residency restrictions. That will also go to Alderman Hanna and Public Protection and Safety. 1766 is uh, an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2010 and June 30, 2011. That will go to Law and Licensing. 1767 is a committee report by the Committee of the Whole uh, discussing that at, at its October 27, 2009 meeting uh, recommended that the Government Structure Committee be established. That will lie over. 1768 is an ordinance amending portions of Chapter 26 of the Municipal Code relating to establishment of new fees for licenses and permits issued by the Building Inspection Division of the City of Sheboygan. That will be referred to Finance and Public Protection and Safety. 1769 is an ordinance establishing Article 11 of Chapter 26 in the Sheboygan Municipal Code creating a residential rental inspection program. That will be referred to Finance and Public Protection and Safety. 1770 is an ordinance amending portions of Chapter 138-12 of the Municipal Code relating to establishment of new fees for weighing or measuring device license issued by the Building Inspection Division of the City of Sheboygan. That also will go to Finance and Public Protection and Safety. 1771 is an ordinance amending the text of the City of Sheboygan Official Zoning Ordinance in Section 15.702, so as to increase the permit fee for a driveway permit from $35 to $50. That will go to Finance and PP&S. 
1772 is an ordinance restricting parking so as to change the parking limits on the north side of New York Avenue from North 5th Street West. That will go to PP&S. 1773 is an ordinance relating to 30 minute limits so as to change the parking limits on the west side of South 11th Street from Union Avenue to 144 feet south. That will also be referred to public protection and safety. 1774 is an application from Paul Gottsacker and Tom Schaefer to rezone property at 2021 North Avenue from UI Urban Industrial to UC Urban Commercial Classification. That will be referred to city planning. 1775 is a resolution directing a public hearing to be held in connection with change of the city's official zoning map for property located at 2021 North Avenue. That lies over. 1776 is an ordinance amending the City of Sheboygan official zoning map of the Sheboygan Zoning Ordinance to change the use district classification of property located at 2021 North Avenue from Class UI Urban Industrial to Class UC Urban Commercial Classification. And that will be referred to City Planning. Motion to adjourn. We have a motion, motion to adjourn and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned.